and friends welcome to this third session on gas welding process in this session we are going to understand the gas welding equipment details so that we can uh, easily carry out the process as prescribed in this the gas welding equipments gas welding is mainly oxyacetylene welding so the various uh, equipments used in the oxyacetylene welding station for example oxygen cylinder acetylene cylinder then hoses hose for oxygen for, for the supply of oxygen gas hose used for a supply of acetylene regulators are used to control the pressure and then the welding torch and then what is the standard systematic startup procedure for this gas welding process now the typical gas welding equipment setup you know the oxygen gas cylinder is used the pressure inside is 125 kg per square centimeter and acetylene is 16 kg per square centimeter we use regulators to regulate the uh, this gas which is available at a high pressure in cylinder through the regulators we regulate that and get that fuel gas at the tip of the torch for combustion purpose at working pressure so working pressure of oxygen is 1 kg per square centimeter and working pressure of acetylene is 0.15 kg per square centimeter and this working pressure it varies the variables are it depends upon the thickness of the workpiece to be welded then the hose which is used for the supply of a gas welding torch and then the non-return valve which controls the flow of the oxygen flow of the fuel gas in one direction only oxyacetylene welding which is very common and in this setup we see here the entire uh, equipment setup is given oxygen and fuel cylinder is shown here fuel is acetylene two stage regulator uh, in case of a high pressure welding uh, the pressure is regulated in two stages there are single stage regulators also available two separate hoses one for oxygen one for acetylene and uh, the specifications are there oxygen hose is always red in color and for fuel pipe that is uh, oxygen pipe is in green in color and fuel pipe is red in color check valves non return valve and the welding torch this is the standard setup of oxyacetylene welding now the o typical oxyacetylene welding station setup is once again uh, very clearly shown there the oxygen cylinder then oxygen regulator oxygen hose fuel gas regulator gauges are also there the same thing the acetylene cylinder is there the regulator acetylene hose and then it both these through the pipes separate pipes the gas reaches to the fuel gas reaches to the torch and the proper mixture is at the torch whether at equal uh, uh, proportion in in equal proportion or more oxygen or more acetylene in oxy plus acetylene combination and then the flame is generated and then the welding rod or filler rod which deposits the filler material to the weld joint so this is the typical oxyacetylene welding station and then we use a oxygen cylinder which uh, these are cylinders are normally painted in black and the wall outlets are secured right hand screwed right handed uh, the usual sizes of the oxygen cylinders are 3400 5200 or 6800 liters the oxygen volume in a cylinder is directly proportional to its pressure. Safety nut that allows the oxygen to uh, drain in the event of if the temperature increases uh, the gas pressure and the cylinder valve is kept closed when the cylinder is not in use. So safety precautions are must and this is shown here. These cylinders are regularly retested because this is very important from the safety point of view using 
that uh, hydrostatic service and cylinders are regularly chemically cleaned and annealed to relieve uh, job site uh, stresses created by handling of this. The another one is acetylene gas handling. Virtually all acetylene gas cylinders, you know, they are painted maroon and the wall outlets are screwed left handed to make this easily recognizable and, and they are also chamfered or grooved. This cylinder is also a solid drawn steel cylinder which is charged to a pressure of 1552 kN per meter square. And then that is why the acetylene gas cylinder from the safety point of view is always kept upright. The acetone in the cylinder must not be permitted to enter the blow pipe otherwise the explosion is possible. That is why to avoid that the acetylene cylinder is always kept upright. The acetylene cylinder wall can only be opened with a special ridge. So, that is necessary whenever you want to carry out oxyacetylene welding. So, this oxyacetylene is usually designed for a specific pressure that is 15 pounds per square inch and acetone is present in the within the cylinder to stabilize the acetylene and should always be as I mentioned always in upright position right. So, these cylinders are filled also with a porous substance monolithic filler to help prevent large pockets of prevent uh, large pockets of pure acetylene from firing. So, that is these are called as a safety plugs or fuse plugs and which are at the top and bottom to design the melt at 212 degree Fahrenheit or 100 degree centigrade and these are all safety precautions they are considered. The another one is acetylene walls and these acetylene walls they help me to close it quickly in case of a fire and there are special wrenches as I mentioned, only with the help of those wrenches you can operate it. These are safety full proof uh, actions, so that you can use this gas very uh, from the safety point of view. So, that is why these walls are provided. Now, another one is regulators. Now, what is the pressure function of regulator? The regulator is to reduce, it, it regulates or it reduces high pressure of gas in the cylinder to a suitable working pressure. The next function is it produces a steady flow of gas under varying cylinder pressure. That is the objective of providing a regulator. And then uh, there are types of regulator like single stage regulator or another one is two stage regulator. And in this the pressure is regulated from cylinder pressure to a working pressure in single stage and in case of a two stage the output of a first stage is the input for the second stage and it again reduces the pressure and it gives you the level of a working pressure which is required for the that particular joining. So, that is why pressure regulator they play a very important role in oxyacetylene gas welding. Here there are some types of welding torches which are shown. Uh, broad classification is a high pressure torch or uh, equal pressure torch and the second one is a low pressure torch or injector type of a torch and these torch you know serves the purpose of uh, you know proper gas mixture mixing and it helps me in getting that desired uh, flame temperature, the cone of a flame, the envelope where the inner cone sufficient temperature, the outer cone where the different temperature and so that a properly welding, a quality weld is possible. For that purpose, there are various design of typical torch st styles which are shown here and this serves the purpose of whether you can use a torch for cut, metal cutting purpose also. In some cases, you know a heating and a thin section welding is there and in cases of medium thickness welding these different types of the torch design helps me to increase the versatility of gas welding process. So, these are some of the typical torch styles which are uh, which enhances the application range of this gas welding. Now, another one is a typical startup procedure in gas welding is the, as this process 
is from a safety point of view is very crucial. That is why we have to follow a standard safety checkup before actually commencing the building process. So, first verify that equipment and the hose condition and then clean torch orifices with uh, tip cleaners which are available. Then again cylinder should be checked for its pressure, check the regulators whether they are in a good state and then come to uh, use those all safety equipments, shield, goggle and as well as helmet and then start the process of uh, this particular startup process. And then next condition is always use a flint and steel spark lighter to light the oxygen and acetylene flame. So, that never use a butane lighter to light the flame, there is a possibility of uh, accident there. Now, we see when we actually ignite that oxyacetylene mixture at the tip of the torch, we get acetylene burning in atmosphere that is open fuel gas wall until smoke clears from flame, allow it and then whatever the neutral flame or carburizing flame or oxidizing flame, whatever the type of flame that you want, you can easily adjust it with the help of that oxyacetylene mixture setup, which where that mix torch itself allows you to get that mix proper mixture addition and getting that desired flame. So, neutral flame where the temperature is in the range of 3087 degree centigrade uh, to a 3350 degree centigrade. For fusion welding of steel, uh, cast iron, aluminum, then copper, etc., these this flame is very commonly used. And for brace welding, oxidizing flame is used and uh, the standard setups which we use in this gas welding is first edge preparation is a very important because edge preparation decides the strength of a weld. So, properly prepare that edge then open the acetylene wall and ignite the gas at the tip of the torch. Hold the torch at 45 degree to the workpiece plane, inner flame near the workpiece and filler rod at about 30 to 40 degree touch the filler rod at the joint and control the movement according to the flow of material. So, this way we can securely complete the process of gas welding. The another very important one is hoses. The, the hose pipes which are connected to through the regulator uh, to the cylinder, they supply the fuel gas to the torch. And these hose pipes, pipes are very crucial for uh, you know welding because the safety point of view, the hoses which are oxygen, the, which supplies the oxygen, uh, they are uh, to ID for the identification purpose, they are colored blue and has right handed thread connection. As far as acetylene hose is concerned, they are colored red and has left handed thread connection. Hoses must be strong, non-porous, flexible and they should not be subject to uh, kin king. Otherwise, the uh, safety issues are going to, to be there. So, pressure regulator is another very important. Two gauges are there. One is the pressure of the gas inside the cylinder that is shown in one gauge and the another gauge which is available, it shows the pressure after the gas passes through the regulator. So, a working pressure which is available at the end of that uh, beginning of that hose which goes to the torch that is seen in the second gauge. So, whether available working pressure of the gas is uh, as per the requirement or not, you can easily monitor it through these gauges. So, pressure inside the cylinder and after regulation the working pressure of the gas required is this is the function of the pressure regulator. So, pressure regulators, they give us the safety as well as regulation of that gas pressure which is available at extremely high pressure. They regulate it through its mechanism and give us the reduction in the pressure and that high pressure gas which is available when it passes through the regulator is converted, pressure is being reduced and the gas is available at the desired working pressure. So, that is proper welding procedure is we have to use all the safety precautions, goggle, shield and as well as the hand gloves and then the check 
walls allow gas flow in one direction only. There is a safety non-return valve is also available. And then flashback arresters are designed to eliminate the possibility of oxygen because the gas inside if it is uh, the combustion or ignition is taking place, there is a possibility of that flame going inside the uh, through the hoses into the cylinder and possibility of explosion that is not possible because of flashback arrestor and then the process is after that uh, open and light acetylene first and then open and adjust the oxygen to a neutral flame. When finished close the walls and then neatly coil hoses and replace equipment and the fire extinguisher should be very clearly available. So, this way we saw the entire oxyacetylene setup. We saw a general gas welding setup because gas welding is oxygen or air plus fuel mixture and in fuel mixture there is a possibility of uh, acetylene or methane or butane or propane and normally oxyacetylene gas welding is called as a uh, gas welding is synonym with the oxyacetylene welding and that is why oxyacetylene gas welding station is described here. Uh, we use cylinders, oxygen cylinder, acetylene cylinder, then pressure regulators, then pressure gauges and then hose pipes and then the different types of the torch and that is at the uh, with the help of uh, proper mixture of the gas, the gas welding is carried out as per the requirement. So, to understand, uh, now it is a quiz time, let us uh, clarify our this understanding of a gas welding setup. The first question here is, in gas welding, the hoses are mainly used for making the connection between the gas torch and regulator, whether this is true or false. Answer is true, answer is A, that is true because the in the gas welding, the hoses are mainly used for making connection between the gas torch and the regulator. And the second question here is, a welding torch is mainly used for mixing and burning the gases in desired proportion and that is again the question is uh, answer is true. The reason behind that explanation is, it is a proper mixture of oxygen plus fuel gas and then getting the desired uh, flame for joining purpose. This is the major function of my gas welding. The another question is that is related to the regulator. Single stage gas regulator cannot be used in cold weather for regulating the uh, acetylene or oxygen gas. Whether this is true or false, again this is true because single stage converter is used to reduce the pressure from the cylinder pressure to welding pressure and this takes place in a single stage and it tends to freeze in cold weather. So, this is because an abrupt expansion and resulting drop in the initial pressure makes rapid cooling of the gas and may cause ice formation in presence of moisture. That is why this is an issue there. Another question is a flashback is a condition in gas welding when the pure methane gas is used as a fuel gas instead of acetylene. Now, this is false because flashback condition in which the flame burns inside the gas torch and this is generally caused by improper mixing of the gas and which further increases the uh, rate of flame propagation to high extent that the flame goes back to the mixing chamber. So, it is not stopped. So, the flame may burn the mixture and may travel back into the cylinder. That is why this is a condition uh, in a gas building where this is the answer is false. This for that the safety precautions are taken. Thank you all for this session. See you again in the next type of a welding process. Thank you. Okay.